now? What happened to my video? Oh, 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 what happened? What happened? <laughs> Here we go. Hello, my beautiful ladies and gentlemen. How are you? How are you feeling today? Here in South Africa, it's still hot, 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 but we are over the moon. Tonight, it is now seven o'clock. Our power was supposed to go off and it didn't. We were like, Yee! we are celebrating, we are celebrating. So just want to let you know, this is going to be a recording and this amazing recording will be for our beautiful guest coming on Easter Sunday. So now we do our, do the recording two weeks in advance so that when Easter Sunday comes, they can have an amazing lunch with their families and their friends. So even if you do write us comments, we will not be able to see it, but we will pick it up in the two beautiful groups of mine, the Diamond Beauties Forever and the Tanzanite Heroes. So first of all, Bob, two beautiful groups. Thank you so much for all your love, your comments that you have done for us during this month of March. We had incredible guests. And actual fact, today's show is the last guest for March. And it was truly, truly an inspiration. I've got also Laura T, as we call her, because I've got two Lauras today, is also the sponsor for this show. And she is going to do her commercial live. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I cannot hide it because it's my first time somebody is going to do a commercial live. Oh, I cannot wait. Oh, 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 I cannot wait. <laughs> So my beautiful ladies and gentlemen, what does brave mean for you? Are you brave on a daily basis? Do you know just to wake up and realize that you have another beautiful day on this beautiful earth and you are stepping out of that bed that you are brave? Do you congratulate you? congratulate yourself of being brave doing things that you never thought you would be able to do if you ask me three months ago Sinead, will you be the president of uh, your own network tv network i would say no but ask me today ask me today yes i am the president of your voice tv network and I am ready. Not to say I'm scared. I am scared because there's a lot of responsibility that's going to be on me. And I must make sure that my host and producers wants to do this. They have their purpose and they are excited to present a show for all of you, my beautiful viewers out there. So, ooh, 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 I'm so excited. I cannot hide it. Are you ready to take three deep breaths with me? And then I will play Josiah Escobar's video. He is my official sponsor for all the shows. And then I will bring in my guest. And then we're going to do this first time ever commercial by Laura T. Let me settle down. Are you ready for three breaths? Here we go. In. Exhale 
another one in exhale last one in exhale wow beautiful here we go as jose escobar i live in washington dc area I'm a family man, I'm an entrepreneur, coach, author, and speaker. I have communities, I support people, I'm a servant leader, and, and the list goes on. And I'm primarily the CEO of the Connected Leaders Academy. That's what I, that's my bread and butter, that's my core offer, right? That's where I put most of my time and energy in. The Connected Leaders Academy is a growing community, it's a tribe of some of the highest level entrepreneurs from all over the world. We're now over 350 plus members, 42 states across the US and 17 international countries. If you're an entrepreneur out there that's looking to grow personally and professionally, scale your influence, develop your skill sets, move the needle in your business, more money, more clients, right? This is the community for you. My guest is here, my guest is here. I am so excited. And my beautiful guest, in honor of you today, can I just show you on top of my camera, my husband have printed me. Oh. Uh, I don't know how to show, but the little Eiffel um, um, uh, Statue, Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty, yes. <laughs> Now, when I want to look at the camera, I have to look at the feet, and then I know I'm at the right place. <laughs> <laughs> but she's an orange because he asked me what color. I said orange, orange. My beautiful Laura T. I am. I'm so excited. I cannot tell you. It's my first time. I'm a year in, year and, and almost three months in with my shows. And you are going to do our first live commercial. So my beautiful one, when you're ready, you can, you can do your commercial for us. Thank you. Well, it is an honor to be here. I'm Laura Templeton with 30 Second Success. My company helps people really understand who it is they're meant to serve and then help them find the words that attract those clients to them. I work with small business owners and professionals who are trying to get their message out into the world and to make an impact from their heart. We talk about clarity, confidence, and compassion in your messaging that attracts the clients that you are meant to serve. We help people through multiple uh, modalities, whether it's with our books that we've I've published, um, group coaching, and as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. I have some courses that I would love for you to check out on my website, 30secondsuccess.com. Wow. Yeah. Woo! You get to go to class too now. <laughs> so my beautiful Laura, what did you think about that live commercial? I love it. Well, well thank you so much. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it was uh, I I put it out there and I am I am I'm feeling really brave. So I think that was that was a great uh, segue into our topic for today because I am I'm really thrilled to be here and to support all of you in in this well, community. I, I, I love the sunglasses. This is awesome. So Laura, uh, Laura B, what did you think about Laura Steve's uh, commercial? I loved it because again that the theme of today and for people who don't know but you know i'm a quantum energy expert i look into thought energy around everything and you have to feel that energy while you're thinking and so i could feel you but it was exciting and it was brave because you are live but i love it and then when danielle hopped in because daniel knows right this is his kind of gig too so he's like yes Got it, nailed it, loved it. Wow, thank you. And you, my beautiful Daniel, what did you think about this? My first ever first live commercial and Laura's tea's presentation. I love it because I think we have an alignment where it says, right? You have to have clarity and you have to have confidence because in life and in business, you can't win without clarity and you definitely can't win a championship in the NBA or any sport without confidence. And so many times, we dim our confidence because people think, right? I want confidence sometimes will make other insecure people 
they'll tell you you're arrogant. You're not arrogant. You just, because of their insecurities, they don't know how to describe it because they don't have that same confidence. So I loved it, Laura. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. So I my, appreciate that. Thank you. My beautiful guest, I specifically have selected you. And when there were a cancellation, I met Laura, a B, and I knew I had to put it with you because you all talk the same. Your energy yes. is the same. So for me, it's a privilege and an honor to have all of you here today. My beautiful Laura T, can you please introduce yourself and tell us what brave means for you? Thank you. I'm Laura Templeton, as I said before, with 30 Second Success. And I love helping people really define who they are. My background is diverse. I have a lot of uh, different different things because we all have a tendency to recreate ourselves. And I think that's where bravery comes in for me. Uh, I think about all the different jobs I've had over the years, the businesses that I've run, you know, launching my own business and stepping into what's next. So for me, bravery is the only thing that scares the crap out of you and still taking that leap of faith, knowing that it's what you're called to do. When it's on your heart to do something and you take that first step and then you take the next step and then you take the next step because you know you're moving in the direction that you were meant to move in, um, you just you can feel the power and it really sets you free, being able to listen to that part of your soul. Wow, I love it. And that's uh, exactly how I, I'm feeling. So thank you so much to, for explaining that as well. You are amazing, my beautiful Laura T. And I'm so excited you are here. Thank you for being my sponsor for the show. And you know what? At the end, I'm going to ask you to maybe do it again. Just, just because, just because. Oh, okay, beautiful. My beautiful Laura B., can you please introduce yourself and tell us what bravery or brave means for you? Yeah, well, thank you. I as always, but more so today, because I know the thought process of how you put the three of us together. So I love this synergistic uh, sharing in life. I mean, we're four humans that are sharing some of this human condition with, and that's um, important to me. I don't take it for granted. So thank you for taking time and allowing me to be in this experience with you. Um, Sunet knows when it comes to this, I usually brush right over this, talking about myself or what I do, but I live in the environment of empowerment. And yes, I am always happy. I am always full on energy and Yes, I am not without challenges, but I've really created um, this amazing formula and this process to help people recalibrate a lot of outdated and old and unnecessary patterns um, that we've carried with us through generations and start to begin to design and engineer this life that's very empowered and very impactful. Um, as a servant leader, I am too. I think uh, when we serve ourselves first and foremost, which is the most important empowering relationship we can have, we absolutely authentically just want to just pour that into anyone and everyone that is willing to now have that same experience. So author, speaker, thought energy coach, empowerment coach, we all know the list. I am just honored to be here. It is a privilege and talk about bravery. Um, I'm doing something in my life that most people my age and I know I don't look a day over 27, but most people my age are getting ready to kind of start to slow things down. And I have embarked on a journey that I've wanted to do since I was 14 years old. And I am now going back into that true passion before life kind of aggravated the, the dream. And I'm living it and I'm creating it every day. And yes, every day it takes a moment of connection to becoming brave when the challenges want to kick you back and you have to show up in that resilient kind of environment and carry on. So I exercise bravery every day. And thank you. Wow, you are amazing, amazing. <laughs> thank you, my beautiful Laura B. Daniel, please, can you introduce yourself and then can you tell us what bravery means for you? I'm brave this morning because I'm here with two, three amazing women and I'm like, what did I get myself into? 
<laughs> no, but in, in all honesty, my name is Daniel Gomez Inspires, and I love people, and I speak all over the world. I'm an award-winning business coach here out of Texas, and I help a lot of brick-and-mortar businesses. I've, I've taken a business that was losing a million to making a million in 13 months, and I've taken a business that was doing 19 million in business, and we were able to just double that. And it's just amazing because the whole thing is this, is I love people. And you can't have a business without people. And it doesn't matter where I speak around the world. One thing that I see, whether I'm in Africa, whether I'm in Qatar, whether I go speak in the UK or here in the States, most people undervalue themselves. And it breaks my heart when people undervalue themselves because when you undervalue yourself, you don't live the life that God had for you. So my take on life is this, is right? My mission is to go out there, inject people with the belief system to believe in who they really can become because the truth is God didn't make us by accident. And when you really can do that, then you're able to take your life and your business to the next level. And that's when we came out with our millionaire mind. So bravery to me is not caring what people think, not caring what people say, and really letting your light shine. Because I think so many people out there, they care so much about the opinions of everybody else mm -hmm. that they dim their light. They don't let their light shine like a diamond. And then they wonder why they're unhappy because they have so much untapped potential inside of them so much energy that just goes to the waste and it really makes them sick because they know deep down inside they were born for more so bravery is letting your light shine regardless of what anybody says wow i love it so my beautiful daniel i i saw when i was busy with the video i didn't get your golden nugget so i just said you were born to fly but i think that was also one of the books that you have written Yes. So that was our first book. We wrote this in 2018. And when I wrote, you were born to fly, I didn't even know what I was doing. <laughs> That's true. So I, I, I think a huge part of the message that, that today is being brave is starting, mm -hmm. even though you don't have all the answers. So many people, I mean, all of y'all are three amazing women and, and we all know that, right. You can never plan the perfect time to have a child because the baby's going to come when the baby's going to come. You can plan like the daughter was supposed to have her baby January 9th. He came, she came a month early, but it, it happened, but you can never plan. And so many of us, we wait for the perfect moment and you were born a flight. You just got to get out there and jump sometimes. And I'm not saying be reckless, but you got to be reckless with wisdom, but have fun too, because if we wait for that perfect moment, the truth is that perfect moment probably is never going to come. You just got to start where you're at right now in your life and in your business. Mm, I love it. Thank you, my beautiful Daniel. So, Laura T, did you also write a few books or uh, can you show us or tell us about your books? Yes, thank you for asking. I actually have three books. I have two books I've written as a solo, uh, solo author and I have two books that I am uh, contributing author to. The first one was 30 Second Success and much like what Daniel just shared, it was kind of that jumping off point. There's a formula that I've been teaching for years, t helping people understand how to communicate their their message with uh, effectively. And so I started teaching people the formula and it, that's what 30 Second Success, Ditch the Pitch and Start Connecting is all about. And then just recently in January, I launched Stand in Your Brand, Harness the Power of AI for brand success, efficiency and client attraction. And that really is the culmination of the work that I do in helping people understand how to communicate their brand effectively, but now bringing in the power of AI to help you really define your message, really refine who your ideal client is and how to communicate with them. So I'm teaching people how to um, just really maximize the use of AI to build their brand and to get some of their their precious time back because that's one of the things I don't know about you, but as an entrepreneur, I want my time back. I got into this business not to be working 40, 50, 60 hours a week. I want to be able to spend time enjoying life with my husband. Laura, I know you mentioned age. I'm I'm coming up on a big birthday in April. And to be honest with you, I moved to Florida so I can enjoy Florida, not so I could sit at my desk looking out the window going, I really want to be out there. So I think that's a big, powerful. And then the other two books are actually books that were written as an anthology for, um, by women, for women. The one is Your First Year, What I Wish I Had Known. And the second one is Heart-Centered Marketing, which was just launched on International Women's Day. So these are two books that have been um, done over you know, during International Women's Day for the last two years. So it's, it's a series, which is nice. And it's just an amazing, incredible journey to write with other authors and see how your messages align with one another. 
And it's pretty exciting when you when you're able to find a group that you can can do that with. So uh, I'm excited. So four books in five years. Pretty cool. Wow. Wow, Sorry. amazing. So my, I just ask you, how did you come up with 30 Seconds Success? That's a really great question. Um, 30 Seconds Success was a culmination of the work that I've done over the years. I was very heavily involved in network marketing. After I had, led, had left corporate America, I got involved in network marketing. In network marketing, you get a ton of education. People, you know, they bring the most the highly uh, educated people in to teach at their conferences and things like that. And I'm always one of those people that's on, I wind up being on stage teaching because it's just, it's part of who, how I'm built. It's part of my human design. Um, so I started teaching other people how to utilize networking as part of their marketing strategy in the teams that I was building and with the organizations that I belong to. And 30 Second Success basically came from utilizing networking as part of my marketing strategy and watching these amazing women that I was networking with on a regular basis just literally fall apart when it came time to do their 30 second message. And I was like, well, I know how to do it and I can teach you how. So I started teaching people how to do their 30 second message. And that's where 30 Second Success came from. It was just one day I was like, I need to start my own business. I, I need to start teaching these people how to do this. There's nobody out there teaching it because I was trying to find somebody that would come in and teach our group. And it's like, nobody was teaching it. I'm like, well, there's nobody else around. I'll teach it because I can teach, get people to teach how to network, but not specifically how to do your 30 second message. Mm -hmm. And I would literally watch these heart centered women just fall apart when it came time to do the 30 second message. I'm like it doesn't have to be that hard. There's a simple formula. I started teaching people how to do it. And then word got out that I was teaching. And I came home one day and said to my husband, I think I know what I'm going to do next. And his first question was, are people going to pay you for that? <laughs> Luckily, they already were. So it was a good thing that they were already paying me for, you know, kind of proof of concept before you go and launch something. And that's where it came from. So I'm in my ninth year of business now, which is amazing. Wow. And I, and yeah, I love what I do. I love. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's a big deal. Right. And uh, I'll, I'll never forget when. I hit my five year mark and I was celebrating that. And somebody said, wow, you made it to five years. I'm like, what's the big deal about making it to five years? And then somebody said, well, most, most small businesses, you know, fail in their first five years. I'm like, good thing. Nobody told me that before yeah. you're five. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but wow, it is, so it is a leap of faith, right? It is a leap of faith and really stepping into what you're called to do. And that's where I knew that as soon as 30 second success popped into my head, I'm like, that's it. That's the name. Um, wow. so it's, been, it's been a pretty, pretty amazing ride to, to support the number of people that I've been able to, to work with and speaking from stage. And I love doing, um, talks and, and doing workshops and, and just teaching it's, it's part of my DNA. Yeah. Wow. I love it. And that's yeah. also part of the things that I am trying to help the ladies to do an elevated pitch is almost the same as what you are doing. Yours is just a little bit shorter because with the magazine, Diamond Moment magazine, we, if they need to do an article, they must give us a blur. And the blur can be two sentences. So it's actually your elevated pitch to put in there. And it's quite difficult for people to put that. Yeah. But I want to say that is like, getting somebody's attention and then in, in a short amount of time. So I love that. Thank you so much, my beautiful Laura T. My beautiful yeah. Laura B, if I can ask you, you said you are in venturing into something new, but I just wanted to say you were, you took over the show in the electricity fail last week from me and you did such an amazing job. So I think you must add on a TV host as well to your, to your uh, whatever you're gonna do. Yeah, because it just keep is putting it on. <laughs> I was at the backstage, but I could not get in and you were proud. So I was so proud of you. What is next for you, my beautiful Laura? I'm going to uh, be very transparent, transparent and just say what is next. I don't know. It's all wide open lane. The creativity that is presenting itself to me on a daily basis. Um, and just like Laura T was saying, it's almost 
where there's a space and it opens and you know that's my space. And for me, I'm very blessed. Um, so much collaboration around the globe. So many wonderful people that I meet and we end up talking and co-authoring books. And for me, it took five years to write one book. Um, I really put so much heart and soul, but I believe in the written energy. Um, I look at things from an energetic structure, everything I look at through the lens of energy. So whether it's thought processes, whether it's sensations in the body, whether it's working with a client, whether it's speaking in an audience, that's why I'm really good. If something happens and I just have to go, it's all good because for me, I travel in an energetic vehicle and where I'm needed, I will show up. I don't think about it. It's one of my catch phrases, suspend the doubt and go for it. Because if you allow that disempowering mindset energy to come in, people will freeze, which is probably why, oh, I'm sure Daniel, he's seen this plenty in businesses and Laura T with women that have such this beautiful message to give out to the world. But when you ask them, what do you do or what do you love or where's your passion and put this into right what media calls that flash presentation, people freeze. Um, I even, I was at an offsite uh, not too long ago and this was happening where we were asking the founder, how do you explain it? And with such beauty and empowerment, she was able to take 20 years of concept and start to bring it into a concise message, which helped the team start to go into the marketing and all of that. So for me, I really think, um, at, again, at a time when some people are wanting to be outside in Florida or Texas or South Africa, for me, put me somewhere in Europe, um, I really am venturing into, as I said, a lot of childhood passions, places I knew I belonged, but for outside conditions, i.e. the human experience, um, I wasn't able to really tap in and fulfill that. So I'm just, I'm showing up where God energy, God force, universal energy is placing me. And I'm discerning about where I spend my time, but I'm absolutely full board excited for all that's to come. And I'm not stopping until I take my last breath because it is such a joy. Wow, I love it. I love it. And something you just said that it's such a joy, the energy. Remember when you told us about that water that uh, that uh, Japanese um, Emoto have yeah. done with the beautiful love words on top of the water. Can you quickly tell us about that? Because it was so beautiful. Yeah, so I write about this in Science of Empowerment. And I use this when I'm, again, whether we're one-on-one -on -one or group coaching and workshops and all of the things that creators do or creatives create to help guide other people. If we look at water, which we are made up of, and we were to place a part of us in a jar and we were to speak to that part of us, how are we talking and what is the energy, the tonality, the what's the movement, right? And I'm talking, yes, a, a little bit more in the quantum end of things, but how are we presenting ourselves to that jar of water? And when we speak to it, and this is a true experiment that they did, they took pristine water and they separated the jars and they put labels, negative and positive labels on the jars. And then they had people come in and actually speak speak very negative, harmful, hurtful words to a group of the jars. And then of course, beautiful, positive, loving messages to another group. And the actual formation, the crystallized formation of the positive and the negative were so distinct. The negative turned brown, black, distorted, just you just knew looking at it and then of course the more positive loving supportive words they're just artwork that would just blow your mind away like only god and we can look at god however everyone wants to religious spiritual force but only that force of universal connection could have created the the knowing that something is speaking to me some energy is connecting with me with kindness with thoughtfulness with care and consideration and that crystal formulization was proof of that so when we talk to ourselves when we talk to one another there's an energy that comes out of us that we're emitting whether we're aware of it or not 
and there's a receptive structure and not knowing their story and not knowing all their vulnerabilities and not knowing if they're brave or not, that's where it, for me, falls upon those of us that have this awareness and the connection to really tune in and say, you know what? I'm going to speak with kindness. I'm going to show up with, whether it's empowerment, you know, elevating energy, we all have a different lexicon, but I think it's really important to remind ourselves that we are, we are children of the divine and how we speak to one another and what we bring into the service of, of our communities is so important. So thank you for that moment to share that. Oh, thank you. I love it. I love it. <laughs> My beautiful Daniel, you had an amazing function the, the last week. And Anthony was one of your speakers and Mercedes and was one of your speakers. So I asked both of them, how was your event? You created this magnificent, over the, I can say over the top, how many balloons did you use? <laughs> but beautiful, you have elevated them with this amazingness, what you have done. Anthony have sent me his video to, to look at and Mercedo as well. So first of all, you creating that to elevate people, seeing them, how they perform, how does that make you feel? And then you and your wife does a lot of volunteering um, to help people elevate themselves. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that as well? Please. It's amazing that our Sticker Shock Speaking Academy, we have one of them, one of them the premier Sticker Shock um, Speaking Academies actually in the world, I say. And I don't say that just to say it. I say it because I, I literally see people's lives transform from A to B, right? Many of them, a great example is, is um, Mursada and, and Anthony did amazing. But the one that stands out to me is we had this 65-year-old lady that got married at a young age. For 50 years, she was holding this story in 50 years, imagine half a century, she got on stage and she just exploded in just letting it out. Tears were coming down. Yeah. And then yeah. just to see the transformation from her speaking on stage for the time she did, it's like, it's amazing. And, and I can tell you just seeing Anthony get on stage and, and sharing his story and, and learning how to become a paid speaker. And then just Mursada, the growth that Mursada, when Mursada came to me, she was, mm, um, um, right. I mean, just, there was no speaking. And, and this is the thing though. I realize that people come to sticker shock speaking Academy. They're definitely coming. They're definitely coming to learn how to speak, right. To become a paid speaker to instead of speaking one to one or speaking one to many, how to monetize their story, how to become a corporate trainer, if that's the path they want to take. But what I realize is, Many speakers and the Mursada and Anthony realize that their voice truly matters mm -hmm. because sometimes we don't realize our voice has a voice in the world. Let me say that again. Many of us don't believe that our voice has a voice in the world. So we dim our light. We don't share our words and your words can change someone's life and your words, not right. The, the mistake that many speakers don't realize is, well, I'm speaking, right? They think that they're the star of the show. No, you're not the star of the show. A, the audience is, but when you're a genuine speaker and you speak from a place of authenticity and you're just honest, like Laura said, right? The truth is I don't have the answer. And people, that's powerful because many people would rather fabricate something amazing. She goes, you know, I'm open to the new. And when you can be that transparent, not only does it heal your audience, so it heals your soul. So it's just amazing when I've seen Mursada and Anthony kind of come from here and come this way. And it's like, wow, because we don't realize how much just really healing comes into a person. So I, I can tell you that seeing the change in their eyes and their heart, how they carry themselves, walking with that little bit of swag, because mm -hmm. there's been a lot of speak. I, myself, I went to two speaking academies when I started in 2018 that I really went full, full time. They teach you how to read from a paper and you're never going to learn how to speak reading from a paper. Let's be honest, right? If you don't get on that stage, like Laura said, right? You either fight or flight. And many people are there and they're like, uh, okay, like, come on. Like you gotta, like, you gotta coach them through it. And, and Mursada was kind of like that the first time I said, no, like 
we start you no start over right like you get a replay here that's why you got to be on stage because when you come to sticker shock we really build a an amazing stage worth thousands of dollars you speak in front of a live audience it's a it's just like an actual mm-hmm. amazing right my, my big break came i was speaking probably for about a, a little bit less than a year i was making a thousand two thousand dollars here and there but i was speaking on hotel floors speaking at mm-hmm. these smaller events and it's great right i'm not knocking it but the, the big honorariums are going to be when an event pl- planner sees you on an actual stage so when I spoke at the United States Air Force, when I trained the United States Air Force in 2018, um, towards the end of the year, it's like now I had the footage like I'm on an actual stage. So when God gave me the idea of sticker shock, we just replicated that we build a stage with an audience like it's amazing, right? There's a lot of there's a, it's a huge investment that that we were like, man, do we do this investment into? But it, it, you got to right? that this is the thing. Most people want to succeed in business, but they don't want to make a the emotional commitment and B, the financial commitment. It takes two commitments. You got to commit fi- emotionally and you got to commit financially. And many people, they'll do the emotional part to an extent, but then when the financial comes, it's like I've invested, probably at this point, I think if I was to tally it up, I already surpassed $400,000 that I've, I've invested in myself these past six yeah. years. But that's why we have the brand and we're doing what we're doing because I've been not scared to invest in myself as a speaker. And then when the speaking bloomed, right, then the books came, then the coaching came. And, but the thing is, this is like I said earlier, everybody wants the answers. You're not going to have the answers, ladies and gentlemen, if you're a parked car. We've seen some nice cars at different houses, right? You probably have colleagues and friends and that have a beautiful Lamborghini, Rolls Royce, Mercedes, nice whatever it is. You have these cars in front of your house, but they don't do you a darn thing. A, if they don't have any gas, and B, if they're in park all the time, and if you never turn them on. And most people's lives, they never turn on the car to their business. They never turn on the car to their actual dreams, and they wonder, why am I not going? Well, turn on the darn car, press the gas, and get out of park. Wow. I love the car analogy. (laughs) Me as well. And you, Laura T., do you love that? (laughs) Oh, my God. That's awesome. I I think I might have to use that sometime. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I love the car analogy. I'm a car girl anyways. I love cars, my whole family, Um, but I love it. And you're right. Um, And even, you know, looking at that analogy, if it's all for show and not for go, right, then, you know, then it's empty. It's all empty. You have to be able to touch into that part of you, that authentic authentic kind of knowing and even if you're scared and even if you're a little nervous and even if you get up on that stage and you're just like whoa there's got to be something in you that is already primed and ready that mindset is already like you know what and i love dim your light my i write about this in the book my grandmother taught me this when i was a little girl if anyone ever tries to dim your light don't say anything. Don't judge. That's on them. Just step aside and go on a whole different path. Because if anyone is trying to do that to you, that is a lesson for you to know don't belong there. That's for me to shine even brighty, brighter over here. So I love, you know, we all, again, all creators, uh, creatives have these metaphors and these experiences for a reason. There's value of decades of going through life and learning. Um, and then sharing and gifting and yes, holding that value of, yes, I, I can get paid for what I do. I've, I've worked, I've yeah, taken exactly. the brave flag. I've put it on top of the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and Laura, you said something that people, you can't miss this, right? Cause I think it was, it was a small sentence she said, but it was powerful. And this is where most people mess up. You have to prime the pump. Yeah. You have to prime the pump. What do I mean by that? A great example, yesterday we went and it wasn't even planned. We went and and um, we ended up going to have lunch at the at this one restaurant I love to go eat at. I love their sangrias. And then mm-hmm. I said to my wife, you know what, let's go up there. We ended up buying um, some some stuff there at the mall. And this one particular store, the first time we – we'd been there a couple of times. But now, right now, I primed the pump already three or four times before. We've bought there before. But now I'm, I'm there like I own it, right? I'm, and <laughs> – I'm letting them serve me champagne. I'm letting them bring me chocolates because now I realize like I deserve it, right? Like now my prime, my, my, my pump has been primed yeah. and I belong there with the elite and yeah. just really re- allowing yourself to receive that as Laura said. And most people, 
they walk into a place, they walk into a conference, they get on a stage, whatever it may be. Even I, many of our authors, because we do book publishing, right? They don't prime the pump and then they self-sabotage and, and then they fall into imposter syndrome when it comes to becoming an author because they prime the pump once and then, oh, this isn't for me. It doesn't, it, this is what I hear a lot of people say, Laura T is, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right, Sinet. Well, it's not gonna feel right because it's new. But when you prime the pump, you go back, guess what? Now your, your mind, your subconscious mind is getting familiar. Now as those new neural pathways are being established. And you gotta understand, ladies and gentlemen, you gotta get in the habit of priming the pump. Go test drive that car you want. Go into that million dollar house. Put yourself on a stage. Go to a conference that you know, probably wouldn't go to. Because you never write. I mean, look at if I would have said no to Sunette, I would have never met these other two beautiful women. Yeah. yeah. Who's going to come out of it? I don't know. But if you got yourself in the room, you never know what can happen. Exactly. I love that. So and, and, I'm so sorry. Please, please I was just going to say quick, like when, you, when the power was out in South Africa, I didn't even think twice. Because of that respect that I have for Sunette, it was... I stepped right into it. I didn't think about what could go wrong. How could it go wrong? Am I going to mess up? I just said, no, I belong here. This is family. We're doing something of service to the greater community. There's no wrong here. There's no wrong way to be. But I do believe you have to touch into that authenticity. If you are trying to right, have a growth mindset, think like a millionaire, prime the pump, and it's coming from an egoic, a self-serving way, no, that's where people can read it, even if they're not highly intelligent and they don't study quantum and, neur and neural pathways, they still can feel it on that visceral level. I'm not going there. That's why I think it's so important to have that relationship and that connectivity with yourself, because even if you don't have the skill set, the tools, the techniques, the modality, the 30 second high end pitch, or you haven't gone to that beautiful boot camp, whatever it is, you don't know the J3 equals E, et cetera somebody knows there's something in you and I want to either help elevate you or I know we can work together, but somehow I see that light in you and I want to feel a little bit of that shine myself. So I think there's all kinds of ways to move through it. Be true to yourself and true to your passion and true to the service that you want to provide. And I think a lot of the rest will follow. Wow. I love it. So my Laura T., what do you think about all this discussion just that went on? Well, I, you know, the, the, and thank you for asking. I, I, you know, I think I love what Laura and Daniel are sharing. And I think a lot of this comes down to belief, right? The belief systems that we have in ourselves. And sometimes we feel like we've been beaten down so much, especially mm -hmm. when as entrepreneurs stepping into something new, we don't have the support system in place yet. Right. I think that's that's a big key. And what Daniel said about investing in yourself is powerful because when you are stepping into that entrepreneurship, small business ownership, whatever it is that you're passionate about, even as an author or a speaker, if you don't invest in yourself and find the right people and surround yourself with the people that are going to help elevate you, it's hard to keep that belief day in and day out the belief that you can do something, you can change the world, even if it's just your little world, right? Yeah. But we are meant for greater things. We are me we're not just meant to step aside and let somebody, el somebody else take the reins in a lot of situations, right? Sometimes the, as entrepreneurs, we are meant to start something and sell it. Other times mm -hmm. we're meant to start something and build on it. I have, I have had a moment where I've been on stage and I was doing a talk and in the middle of the talk, I had that aha moment, like, oh, this is what this, wait, this is the real message here, right? And when you have those moments, it's like you level up and having the people around you that believe in you and see that in you is yeah. powerful. And we need to embrace that. And that's where the energy and the belief come in. Because when we start to believe in ourselves, and I think that's the power of being in the, in that, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, Daniel, Laura, Snet, when you're coaching someone and you see them for who they really are and who they can really become, and you share that with them, do you not see their light, like their eyes light up? Like, wow, she gets it. She sees what I see. Somebody else understands me. In that moment, you feel like you've given them a gift. Yes. And I think that's what's so powerful about being in the world that we are in, where we are helping people. 
and having that heart of service, being compassionate about what's going on in the world and realizing that people need to be lifted up instead of being torn down. And I think that's what's so powerful about entrepreneurship as a whole, because people are looking to be built up, not torn down. And, and I, I think that's where that belief said, comes in. I love what Laura says, right? Because the mistake that I've seen people make, Laura T, is that people, right, they want to be an author. They want to be a speaker. They want to be an entrepreneur, right? But in life, you don't get what you want. You mm -hmm. get what you believe. Yeah. And most people don't believe it for themselves. It's easier to believe it for Sunette. It's easier to believe it for Laura T or Laura B. But ladies and gentlemen, you don't get what you want out of life. You get what you believe you deserve you get what you believe you are worthy of and laura t when you said that i thought about this right because people make the mistake is right well we, we we go and we get all this skill set all this knowledge but the truth is this you fall to the level you believe you deserve and most people you need to understand that you need to believe it that you deserve it yeah absolutely absolutely yeah i Sinet, do you want to say something? I want to ring the bell for, for Laura T to give her our commission again, but you go ahead, my beautiful Laura B. Yeah, I was just saying, and I, I, I can imagine all of us have had some variation of this experience when you're coaching, especially one-on-one, -on -one. but even if you're at a party, a cookout, a gathering, a social environment, and you end up having these beautiful, intimate conversations that matter, and someone sees, as you said, Laura T, they see some part of them that's being noticed. And so many times people, and I've had clients always say, thank you for what you've done. I never, and I said, no, 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 no. It's not me. I am the person holding the space for you to explore and discover what you just felt. That's all it is. That's that synergistic, beautiful collaboration. Yeah, maybe I'm a coach. Maybe I've studied this. I've been certified there. But no, this is human to human connectivity. I am holding the space so you get to feel that. Whoa, you're up on stage. You're dynamic. You're energetic. You make me feel. No, all I'm doing is reflecting back to you what is so beautifully in your DNA. Use that moment to excite you, to elevate you, to empower you. So when you leave that speaking engagement, you're ready to rock. Invest in yourself, invest in a book, a podcast, a time, a friend, a coach. That's what we are there for. For me personally, that's why I do what I do. It's not so I can guide and support or turn on, switch on, activate. It's so I can be that moment of remembrance. Ah, I am that too. I've got that in me too. Oh, I love it. So my beautiful, um, my beautiful viewers out there, if you want to connect to any of my beautiful guests, you are welcome in the E360 show notes, all of the details on there. We will be doing the commercials, not this Monday, but coming Monday, because remember this is a recording, but everywhere I will also uh, give all my beautiful guests uh, links out. You can follow them. You can send them a friend request and LinkedIn. All of them are on LinkedIn. So please, my beautiful ones, connect with my amazing guest. And Laura, are, Laura T, are you ready? <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. Be brave. <laughs> my beautiful ladies and gentlemen, my First love commercial for the second run, beautiful Laura T. Hi, I'm Laura Templeton with 30 Second Success. Many of you understand how important it is to have that 30 second message that opens the doors to opportunities for you, especially as a business owner or a professional. But a lot of people struggle to communicate effectively who they are in 30 seconds or less. Well, I'm here to tell you, I've created a formula that speaks to your heart, speaks to your power and opens doors and attracts the clients that you are meant to serve. I've worked with dozens and th actually thousands of people who've had extraordinary success with a simple formula that I teach whether it's through my book, 30 Second Success, Ditch the Pitch and Start Connecting, through my online courses or in my group 
coaching program. So if you're interested in learning more about 30 Second Success, come check us out, 30secondsuccess.com. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to thank you. Here we go. Because this moment was like amazing, amazing. My beautiful put the shades on, right? She shines so brightly. We had to put the shades on. <laughs> My beautiful guest, can you believe our time is up? 